Hello fellow knights, this is OG from Crypto Knights with another cryptocurrency update. As always, if you appreciate these videos, please do click the thumbs up button and subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos. A quick update on the trade I made yesterday. We are up over 200% and right now we've come down a little bit. So currently up around still 175%. Um, this trade was up over 200% um, at one point. In any case, let's dive right in. So currently on the four hour, we're seeing bullish and bearish signs. So on the one hand, we did break out of this potential triangle formation. Right? So if we draw a line from this high to this high, and then from this low to this low, we have some sort of triangle pattern and we had a nice breakout here, right? This pretty large candle body here. But at the same time, this is running into the 200 MAs. Right, so we saw that this served as resistance after we broke down. Right, so here got rejected, here got rejected, and now we're testing that level again. Right, so there is a possibility that we do get rejected from this again. Although I will say that this time the likelihood of breaking out is higher than in these previous um, cases because we did get a higher high, we do have a higher high, higher low formation suggesting bullish momentum right so this is possible that we do break out this time but this is you know this is tough resistance right so we do want to see uh, you know price breakthrough with volume so this would be at around 36.2k right so the 200 sma is at 35.5 so we're actually right at it right now and then the 200 ema is the at 36.2 ideally we, we want to see price break above both for extra confirmation right so these are this is the zone that i'm waiting for so if that does happen then i could see price go up for another leg up right so and breaking this high here for maybe targeting even up to you know, 40k the other pattern that might be emerging is a potential channel right channel or flag or however you want to call it so we have this trend line here and then if we have a uh, put the same thing at the top we see this rough channel forming so we have touch point here we're not touch point here two touch points here actually down another touch point here and then um so we would so we're kind of ping-ponging back and forth between these two trend lines right so potentially we might rally up to this point right if we go up here so this would be at around um yeah, like here, right? So assuming we come back, come up like this. So that's what I'm looking at on the four-hour chart, right? So um, one is we need to see what happens here. Um, you know, being stuck between the break of the trend line and then the 200 MAs, and then if further up, looking to see what happens if we do test the upper end of this channel. Okay, so let's see. Let me zoom in on the one hour chart just to show you guys kind of where the trade took place right so in yesterday's video and in posts both on twitter and on in discord as well as on, on youtube i mentioned that price was consolidating right in this um this horizontal channel right so and the and price was stuck between here and if we had a breakout right on either side then we're likely to see continuation so if price had actually to me into the 15 minute gives a better yeah we can see it in more detail right so i was saying you know break above this level right we can see a rally if break below here then we might be looking for a long upon the successful retest of the 200 ma's whenever it came down here right and in fact on the hourly we never closed below this, right? So while there were wicks below the low of, of this consolidation, you know, we had it, it was met by huge rejection, right? Uh, bear started to push the prices down, failed again, failed again, failed, and then eventually we broke to the upside, breaking this trend line that we saw in the four hour. And now we're kind of consolidating and we've come down a little bit from this top. So we want to see what happens here right so one of the things that typically does happen is for a retest of breakout before continuation so you know 
I wouldn't be surprised if something like this happened, right? It comes, comes back here and then goes up. Of course, we might also form some sort of potential consolidation here, right? Something like this. Um, right now, it's too early to, to tell. I'm just saying, putting out the possibility that there, may, there might be some sort of consolidation forming in this area, and then we have a, a breakout. But right now, it's in wait and see mode. I've taken half of my trade off um, for Bitcoin. So I'm now sitting in um, comfortably in profit and just waiting to see what what happens. And I'll adjust, I'll either close my trade or add to it depending on what, what happens. So now looking at Ethereum, and for some reason this horizontal consolidation has been playing out quite nicely in, uh, in recent days. So same thing, right? We had the initial double bottom here, then we broke above, and we had a successful retest of 200 MAs, rallied again, and similarly we had this horizontal consolidation, right? Ping pong in between this high and this low, and once we broke above, and you know this is huge volume, right? I mean, this this shows you this conviction, right? Look, look at this, the volume was decreasing the entire time, and then boom, we had this and huge candle, and then we rallied up, right? So yeah. So this was also also could have been a nice trade here. So, um, and let's see. So 175%, 180% in profit right now. This is with the remaining percent of my trade that's still open. I've already closed half around around these areas of when we were up around 200%. Okay. So today's video was quite short. If you appreciate videos like this, please again do give thumbs uh, up to this video, and most importantly, subscribe and click the bell notification. Uh, so that you can you know, jump in on these trades with me um, in real time, right? Thank you guys and see you in the next one.